Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about basically I don't, the title might change like I said to you in, in previous video videos or one basically um, I'm just gonna go I'm gonna just go through with some origins of some religions <coughs> sorry so the, the, I'm gonna try and maybe merge them together and just try and give you an understanding so basically in so I've, as you can see you can see what I've typed up here the origins of Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism Buddhism so it says here the origin of Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism Buddha, Buddhism points to one man Siddharth Gautama the historical Buddha who was born in Lubina open bracket in in present day Nepal close bracket during the during the fifth century BCE basically and this one the the origins of Hinduism it says Hinduism was born in India but it was not founded by one individual rather it is the fusion of many religious religious beliefs and philosophers philosophical schools accordingly accordingly Hinduism is said to be a religion of a, of a million and one gods its origins are mixed and complex let me see something else I'm gonna come back to Christianity basically you 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 see it here about Hinduism where it, where it's from India the origins of it where it was birthed and also the origins of the origin origins of Buddha if you come down here where it says I'm reading a little bit of this bit but I'm really focusing on this part where it says most historians agree that Buddhism originated in northern India in the 5th century BC tradition yeah 5th century same year same 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 year same same area but they call it different different things but apparently I did some research in the past and to me apparently Bud, Bud, Buddhism and also Hinduism is is completely separate they're not the same they're not the same religion and even when I type it in on here let me just let me just flick forward a little bit not that one if I put is if I put is in the same as if I put, I'm putting in is Hinduism the same as Buddhism? We've got to be care. We've got to be careful of of what we what we what we search online. Sometimes some people preach some people preach deception, and 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 as you know, with my with my reputation, you 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 can see that I don't preach. I don't talk about lies. I don't speak. I don't speak I don't speak falsehood. So it says here when you put is Hinduism the same as when it when I put in the search engine is Hindu is is Hin sorry. Oh why are you playing about computer? So you put in oh you're annoying. So if you put in 
So if you put in, is Hinduism the same as Buddhism, you come up with this. I'm, I'm reading this for the first time as well as you all listen to me as well. So it says here, anyone can enter nir nir Nirvana no matter how lowly, whereas in Hinduism only the Brahmins could achieve Makasha. Mak 3. In Theravada Buddhism there are no gods. The Buddha is not a is not a god. For karma is karma is not earned by following following the dharma of the castle. No, sorry, of of your caste. Is not er, sorry, karma is not earned by following the dharma of the caste caste. Uh, they're even putting here even down here as well it says Buddhism versus Hinduism difference and comparison some believe that all it says here below just here some believe that all spiritual paths lead to the same God well I don't I don't believe that's true, but there needs to there, with with that I do believe there needs to be evidence that needs to back that up, because I don't I don't believe that's true. It says, Buddha Bahu, rejected the f fifth Vida. Hang on, wait a minute. It says Buddha rejected the fifth vid Vidas. That's Hinduism. V Vidas is Hinduism. It should be anyway, as f which is what I read in there. I read in the book. I read in the book. I read in the book. The kingdom. The kingdom of knowledge book. I read that book and 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 Vidas was in there, and it says according to the dial dial dialogue dialogues seen in the Nikayas, Vidas are generally regarded as sacred 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 to Hinduism, so it's. So it's so I was correct then, and it says post Vedic Vedic texts like the Gita are also revered. It could be said that Buddhism has no gods. Well, Hinduism has all the gods. So here's another part. It says here. It says here. It could in this title. How does Hinduism differ differ from Buddhism? And it says it could be said that Buddhism has no gods while Hinduism has all the gods Hinduism and Buddhism and at the same time er 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 eradicate, eradicates well I don't know so let me just look into this one one minute You know something? I'm gonna go back out but because of copyright. I can't really do that. You, you you're gonna have to type type this title in yourself and research it properly because you know I have to be I have to be careful of copyright. So if you basically to me this seems like they're ob they're they're obviously separate Buddhism and Hinduism, and you you listen to what I've what I've read out and proved to you that. They're they're not the same. They're not the same religion. And type what I've highlighted, which which it says. Type it on on the search engine where it says, "How does Hinduism differ from Buddhism?" And you get that bit where I, where I read out to you earlier where it says, "It could be said that Buddhism has no gods, while Hinduism has all the gods. Hinduism and Buddhism, and at the same time er, er, eradicates." the but I don't know what that says but I don't want to break copyright so basically so but back to the origins back to the origins of Hinduism and Buddhism let me just do something 
Wow, what's going on? Yeah. So you, as you, as you know already, it's all from it's all from India, and it's funny how they both in the, they both were birthed in the same in the same country and in the same year, but they're completely different religions, and not just that. I mean, it, it's a bit it's a bit confusing to have two religions, two different completely different religions coming out of coming out of of a of the same country i mean for starters in a way common sense will, will, will should should really kick in i'm not trying to be rude when i say common sense because when any time when someone says common sense you immediately think someone's being rude but i'm saying what i'm trying to say i won't i won't say common sense but i'm saying it's it's good is you know when when if if two religions if two religions come come from one country and 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 within the same year and they're completely separate religions i mean the understanding a common a common understanding will will say to us you know this can't be right if they're coming from two different part two same country but two different religion two different parts it doesn't it doesn't click something can't can't be clicking something can't be clicking here because you know if if you birth if you birth one if you birth one one faith one religion surely you wouldn't birth another one after that because i mean it, it, it wouldn't add up it doesn't it doesn't come together you know why would you birth a second one just to say that you know this is also an answer to to the afterlife when you when we should really have followed the first one but then you bring in a second one in the same country in the same year it i hope you understand i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say it doesn't it doesn't come to it doesn't it doesn't come together it doesn't it doesn't add up basically but if you if i look at if i look at christianity now and I try to, I, I try to, and I'm trying to be fair as well. I'm not trying to be biased because when it comes to when it comes to Christians being Christians, that a lot of people in the world believe that because once once you're a Christian, you're not going to accept nothing else. You're not going to accept no. You're not going to accept no other religion. No nothing else. You're just going to stick to your own faith, your own religion, and you're not going to listen listen to no, no nothing what anybody else is saying. But the thing is. The thing is, when 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 Christians are Christians and genuine Christians are genuine Christians, they they will they will question they will question Christianity itself as well. They will question God. They will question they will question Jesus, and like the Bible says, you know, the Bible says you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So even even though, you know, I might seem that I'm being biased. In actual fact, I'm not really being biased. I'm being fair to you. I'm being fair to Hinduism. I'm being fair to Buddhism. I'm not being biased. I'm not saying Christianity is always right. You know, it's it's down to that individual to say to themselves, you know, Christ Christianity is right for me. Hinduism's right for me, or or Buddhism is right for me. But you've got to you've got to have that concrete evidence that. It's valid and it's and it's correct and it's and it's not it's not breaking any kind of rule that 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 will end that will bring you into jail. Whether the religion says you know be good to one one another, it, it's good to have it's good to look at the reputation of of genuine genuine Hinduism in, in genuine Hindus and genuine Buddhism or uh, and genuine Christians and and get their opinion and say you know. Is this what is this is this correct? You know, is this is this? It's good to ask them. Is this correct? You know, are you always feeling happy with this religion, faith? Are you always peaceful? You always feel peaceful in your heart. You always feel content with what what with what you with what with what with, with serving this God. You know, can you can you sit down at the end of the day, at the end of each day, and say every day, every day without fail, and 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 think to yourself and say, you know, I have peace in my heart. I don't have this nagging feeling that I'm missing something. You know, 
uh, if you can truly say that you 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 don't you don't have this nagging nagging feeling that you're that something is missing inside your heart your mind your body your 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 entity your 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 identity if you if you feel or believe that something's that something's missing then maybe you should have a look and and search these 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 religions and faith properly and see where where am i most at my happiest in these in these religion and faith because out of out of these free free religion and faith that i'm mentioning there can only be one that's right and i'm not saying it's christianity i'm saying do your own research properly and and pray and ask god for guidance on whatever god you believe in as long as you don't label it just ask and 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 if any of these religions say to you, these three religions say to you, you know, leave leave all three of these religions and and serve and serve a different religion, then you've got to you've got to question it, and you've got to, and I mean, we all know that Jesus heals and God heals throughout throughout from many years from from when Jesus from when Jesus was around, and even now, even present as you're watching this video, even if it's live or not. Even when it's, even when this video is pre-recorded, people are still, people are still healing even to this day, this very day, and it's and there's healings in the blood of Jesus that's current, that's continuing on 24/7, round the clock. And if if a, if 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 a voice is telling you that you know, I need to leave this, you need you need to leave this religion, faith, leave all three of them. Leave them, leave three of them completely, and don't, don't, don't ever touch any of them again. Don't ever visit any of them again. Then you've got to question it, and you've got to ask. You know, you you, you can, you sanct, you, you know, sanctify it in whatever, whatever, where sanctify it, whether it's from Hindu or whether it's from whether it's from Hindu or whether it's from Buddha or Jesus. Sanctify it with your religion or faith do it all round do it all do all three of them or do all three of them do three of them all three of them and wait to get an answer and i'm sure out of one or out of all three i'm sure you'll get your answer out of all three i'm sure i'm sure you'll get one answer not not all three answers if 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 the religion if that one of those religions keep keep still and don't say anything and keep quiet then basically just move on, move on until you get a proper answer. And if you still can't get an answer, just just call me. You know, whenever you're ready, whenever you f believe that the time is right, but in your own time, not in my time. So, so let me let me let me move on to Christianity's or origins. I've, as you can see, I probably put in the wrong title. But what what has got me is this one. Not not got me, but basically I couldn't really find anything about what other religion or faith that was birthed after Christianity, because they, I couldn't really find any, and there's no I couldn't really find no concrete answer, because they all some of them one of them I read they're just talking about the, from the from the from the from the big beginning of the church in Acts two, and things like that and. I couldn't like it was in it was in this uh, it was in this article. One minute. It was in this uh, oh wow it was in this article here that's highlighted Jerusalem's religious significance, Palestine, Palestine, Israel, Israel Journal. But you might be just thinking oh you might be just thinking oh it's just it's just about Israel that's about Christianity only, but there are some people in Israel and Jerusalem that are not that are not Christians but they just do their own thing so and some and the Jews the Jews only believe in the Old Testament they don't believe in the New Testament so you know do you do you do your own research and and I can guarantee you you will get your answer just keep searching and praying and seeking try and try and keep your heart open and be optimistic try and keep your your try try and be try and still be open don't don't close the gate on on all the religions and faith don't close your heart on all of them 
because they, 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 there can only be one answer but just keep searching if even even if it takes you a lifetime to search and find the true answer even if it takes you a lifetime to, to search for that and find it a lifetime it, if it takes you that long then it's, it's worth the while it's worth the while this is no joke you know so even if it takes you that long just keep searching and don't lose heart and yeah that's well I think I've said enough but yeah yeah so that's that's really that's really all I have to say for today and, and in this video not today but in this video so you know sure so bye for, so that's it you know my name again is well I didn't say my name at the beginning but my name as you know my channel it's Ricardo Coke and that's my real name and so that's really all I have to say so peace be with you and shalom but don't take offense of what I've just said about peace being with you so take care and shalom don't, you don't take offense whatever, whatever I say in this whole video so bye for now. Shalom.